Today, we have something super exciting to talk about, the latest leaks of Samsung's next-gen wearables. That's right, we're diving into the newly leaked official renders of the Galaxy Watch 7, Galaxy Watch Ultra, and the Galaxy Buds 3. So buckle up and let's get started. First up, we have the Galaxy Watch 7. If you've seen the Galaxy Watch 6, the Watch 7 will look quite familiar to you, but with a few tweaks here and there. The new renders reveal a sporty design that stands out with a different silicone wrist strap. It's available in three color options, a sleek silver with a white strap, an all green variant, and a classy cream with a matching strap. These color choices are definitely going to make it tough to pick just one. Moving on to the even sportier Galaxy Watch Ultra. This piece of a smartwatch is shown in three striking color combinations, a sophisticated silver with a white strap, a dual tone black and dark gray model, and a bold black variant with an orange strap. The Ultra version seems to be designed for those who love a rugged look combined with high functionality. And now let's talk about the Galaxy Buds 3 and Buds 3 Pro. The renders showcase these sleek wireless earbuds that are sure to please any audiophile. While it's a bit tricky to differentiate between the Buds 3 and Buds 3 Pro just by looking at the renders, we believe the Pro variants are the ones featuring the rubber ear tips. One interesting feature on both models is the rumored blade lights. Those black strips running across the sides of each earbud that are expected to light up. Talk about cool and functional design. A common design element we can't overlook is the pair of blue and orange dots. These small but distinctive markers are found on nearly every one of these wearables, from the Watch FE and Watch 7 wrist straps to the ends of the Buds 3 and Buds 3 Pro stems, and even on their charging cases. It seems like Samsung is creating a unique signature look for their 2024 lineup. Interestingly, the Galaxy Watch Ultra embraces the orange color but misses out on the blue dots. While we didn't get a glimpse of the Galaxy Ring in this leak, Samsung has already unveiled and teased it a few times this year. So, there are no mysteries left about its design. Like the Ultra Smartwatch, the ring is also missing the blue and orange markers. It seems like Samsung is reserving this design element for their more sporty wearables. So what does all this mean for us? Well, Samsung's new Galaxy wearables for 2024 promise not only sportier designs, but also significant improvements, thanks in part to the latest advancements in AI. With these features, Samsung is set to raise the bar of the wearable tech market once again. Mark your calendars, folks. Samsung will officially announce these upcoming wearables at the Galaxy Unpacked event on July 10th in Paris. And here's a pro tip for you. Reservations for these next-gen devices are already live. If you pre-order now, you'll get a $50 instant Samsung credit. Not a bad deal, right? That's all for today's Leap Roundup. What do you think about these new designs? Are you excited about the Galaxy Watch 7, Ultra, or the Buds 3? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more awesome tech content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. The Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilead smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. 
Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices launched leaked photo a few days ago, Looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone, expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6 overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.